The Google Pixel 6 Pro prototype was leaked by M. Brandon Lee. The Brandon showcased the 360 degree of the Pixel 6 Pro. This prototype model is not the final product, but it will give you an idea how it looks. Even though Google has showcased the device by themselves, a similar leakers have posted many of the Pixel 6 series info. The unveil date is unknown. Some said it's probably by October 19 of this year, 2021. The FCC certified that Google Pixel 6 series will support UWB, stands for Ultra Wide Band and Wi-Fi 6E, but not all devices will feature millimeter wave 5G. That depends on the carrier. The launch date of the Pixel 6 series rumor date comes from the app that was published by a carrier at Australia Testra, in which is mentioned an event offer to get a chance of winning. So the event ends in October 19. Samsung has digitally unveiled their 200 megapixel camera sensor. They name it 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP1 image sensor. It is a high end camera coding edge on the smartphone. Samsung has made a detailed video show how the 200 megapixel HP1 works. I will link the video in the description below since the 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP1 works like the 108 and the other image sensor like the Series 1, Samsung made the 50 megapixel ISOCELL GN2. This image sensor works like the other camera sensor that use artificial intelligence and algorithm. In this case, it used deep learning based remote psych algorithm. The AI used 2 times 2 pixel binding, dividing the 200 megapixel into a 50 megapixel with a pixel size of 1.28 UN making a result of a video shot at 8K at 30 frames per second. The 4x4 four four binding pixel creates a 16 megapixel and takes it to 12.5 megapixel, 2.56 UN, to absorb much light as possible. To shot in the best possible scenario in low light condition, the 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP1 use AI to create multi-sampling in which check all the pixels several times to create the best average, even though it uses standard HD or high dynamic resolution in short distance, medium and long range, distance up to 100 dB to combine and produce the best shot as possible. Similarly, Smart ISO combine low and high ISO. Also the Smart ISO Pro, it can record HD or video with clear and with less motion lower. Lastly, the ISO cell HP1 Use double super PD to focus the number of pixels to make the shot less blur. The S22 was rumored that it will be partnering with Digital Camera Maker. The rumor was that Samsung for the S22 will partner with Olympus branded camera. A Dutch publication, Let's Go Digital, mentioned regarding the Olympus that it will not collaborate with Samsung. Leaker Ice Universe mentioned that Samsung might combine the S series lineup with the Note series lineup because they saw the potential with the foldable smartphone like the Galaxy Z Fold and the Z Flip series. Another reason is because it's hard for Samsung to differentiate the S series from the Note series. Samsung is probably going to leave the S series to the standard and the plus variant, but the Ultra is going to be a combination with the Note series and to make it hybrid between the key elements of the Note. For example, it should not be rounded like the S, but not right angle like the Note. It S series should be a boxy design. Another leak that supports the rumors is that the S series will be getting a built-in spend. Global ship shortage have been here for a while. A report by Sugian Financial Group mentioned that the global ship shortage has gotten worse since July. Some rumors say that the ship shortage might start to decline by mid-2023, but this is just a rumor. Take it with a pinch of salt. Samsung S22 lineup colors has been leaked. The standard S22 and the Plus will get a black, white, a pink, gold, olive, or dark green color, but the Ultra variant will get black, white, and dark red color. The EU proposed to force all electronic manufacturers to adopt a common port, and the most famous port of this time is the Type-C cable. The Android community will not be affected since they have the most Android with Type-C cable. The only smartphone company will be affected the most will be Apple, since Apple has the Lightning cable since a long time. The EU plans to propose the law when it takes effect in two years. They have two years to switch the cable from Lightning to Type-C. Apple will not like this news.